guys, as you know, I love to eat burgers and also make them. But right now, everyone's staying home because of coronavirus. So why not try to make something new, like this burger that's really good. And if you do, put below your Instagram photo, hashtag Henry Burger, so I can see how you eat. But now, let's jump to the beginning where the journey started. When you're choosing ground beef, choose at least 20% fat because the more fat, the better because the burger comes out juicier. But now let's go and find the cheese. So we took tomatoes, onions and buns but we didn't take pickles because we already have them. So we'll see you at home. We're back from the shop, so let's start making our burger. We got 20% uh, fat ground beef because it's nice and juicy and you'll get a juicy burger. So you wanna be gentle with your patty, but also not too gentle because you need it to stay together. Also, you want to make sure that your patty is bigger than your bun because when you cook it, it's going to shrink. So let's make sure that mine's big enough or small enough. Here we go. Looks a really good size, I think. Also, you don't want to salt your patty before or like right now. You want to do it a bit later because it's going to otherwise take out all the moisture and you're not going to have a juicy burger. Before I put my patty on the pan, I'm gonna put it into the fridge for 15 minutes because right now all the fats are melting and when I put it in the fridge, it's gonna freeze and you're gonna have a nice and juicy burger. But you wanna shape your patty like a volcano or a divot because it prevents water loss. So into the fridge. When my patty is in the fridge, I like to make my toppings and for toppings I like onion, tomatoes and pickles. So let's start chopping. Don't use butter because it has a low smoke temperature and I'm using olive oil. Also, make sure that your pan is hot when you put the patties on. So, let's put them on. I already seasoned the bottom, but now onto the pan. Onto the pan, don't squish it because it's gonna let all the moisture out. Also, three minutes and flip it once, not multiple times. So, now we wait. Now I'm seasoning the top. And then I'm gonna put it, put the cheese on. Ooh, that looks very good. Now the cheese. Let it melt. I'm using two cheese because I like a little bit of cheese on them. And now we wait again. So it looks ready. And let's start toasting the buns. When toasting the buns, don't use any oil and let's keep them here for a while. The buns look ready and my patty has settled for a while now and that's good because otherwise your bottom bun will get soggy. So let's split the burger. First, the patty. Then the onion, tomatoes, and the pickle. And finally, the sauce. Wow, it looks amazing. And I hope it tastes as good as it looks. So let's try it. It's so big that it even won't fit in my mouth. Mmm. <sighs> 
it's really nice, it's juicy and everything, and I think it's one of the best burgers that I've ever had. Mmm. I should open a burger restaurant. It like tastes amazing. I think that everything's perfect. Even the burgers well cooked and juicy. But I hope you liked the vlog as much as I did. And the hardest part wasn't making the burger. It was filming everything. And I really hope that you consider subscribing and liking. So I'll see you in the next one.